Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to show you how I make my panoramic sugar eggs. Uh, they're very easy to make but can be a very long and delicate process. So it's going to take several days to make them. But uh, I used to make them all the time. And they'll last for forever if you take care of them. This is one I made around seven or eight years ago. And as long as you keep it away from direct sunlight and away from any moisture, they'll be fine. Uh, and if you even put water on these, it will start to melt. Because all of this is, is white granulated sugar, powdered sugar, and egg white, food coloring, and your little figurines to go inside. So I use the royal icing to make the decorations and to glue it together. And I'll show you some of the ones that I made a year ago. So let's get started. I made these last year and I've had them wrapped in some cellophane and they're holding up great. Uh, they can be very delicate though and if you want to make a little stand for them to set on like this one it's made out of the sugar too. I just took a plastic candy mold this one right here and just put the sugar in that. We'll make one too so I can show you how to do that. But all you need is an egg that opens this way lengthwise not one that opens this way. Alright in my large mixing bowl I have two cups of white granulated sugar and I'm going to add a half a cup of powdered sugar and I am going to sift it because powdered sugar sometimes can be lumpy and we don't want any lumps. So you can see the lumps in there so just mash them and push them on through. Then I'm going to take a whisk and mix it up real good. Alright that looks good and mixed through so now I'm going to take one egg white and that's what we're going to use to make it be like wet sand. Now at this point, if you want to make your eggs be a different color, you can add some food coloring. But I'm just going to leave them white. So I'm going to kind of whip that up just a little bit. There, I mixed it till it was a little frothy. And I'm just going to add that in. and start mixing it in. Now you get to use your hands. Really get in there and rub it all together. And let it get all incorporated real good. You don't want it to be too wet and at the same time you don't want it to be too dry. Okay, this right here, and it is kind of humid here today. So, um, that's kind of real wet. I'm going to add another half a cup of my white sugar to it. So I'll be right back. So I added a half a cup of my white granulated sugar. I'm just going to mix it up. So I have two and a half cups of white granulated sugar and a half a cup of powdered sugar. And this is feeling much better. You really want to mix this real good. Alright, I want to show you kind of how it it holds together but then it's still kind of crumbly. So now take your eggs and I have something that I'm going to lay mine out on. I just have a cake round. You can use a piece of cardboard but you really really want to pack it and go ahead and determine my egg has a flat spot on it, so that will be the back of my egg. If um, your egg doesn't have a flat spot on it, and it's both the same kind, then you'll just determine the top of it. But you really want to pack this in real good. And you're going to have to make extra, because when we go to scoop these out, 
some of them will crumble right in your hands. So really pack it as tight as you can get it. Smooth it out. Get it as level as you can. And then really flatten that out. And then take your cardboard. Lay it over. Kind of tap it a little bit. And then there you have it. And go ahead and do the other half. And if it's sticking real bad and when you dump it out and it leaves like chunks in there, your sugar's too wet. Just add some more sugar. And there you go. And then you're going to have a little bit left. You can go ahead and make another egg half in case one of them breaks but I'm also going to show you if you want to make a stand for your eggs really any kind that you want to make same thing just pack it in there real good and then you dump it out and this that you have left over cover it with some plastic wrap seal it real good or put it in a zip top bag because you're going to need this because you can uh, make more eggs and I'll be right back alright there's my extra one now when you scoop these out then you're going to have more sugar to mold some more stuff so we need to make a little window on one of them I want to go ahead and kind of get the imprint going so when this crusts over, I don't risk breaking a lot around my egg trying to make the window. Now if you have some little plastic eggs, you could just make your window out of that. I don't have none right now. This is just something that a tea light came in. And I didn't like the size of a hole that that one was making. So I just found something else and just lay it across the top, kind of gently and print it all the way around. And if you mess up, just put it back in your bowl, mix it up, and mold it again. On my uh, extra egg that I made, I'm not going to make an imprint on it yet. But um, real quick, now we need to make a bottom for these to stand up on. I just kind of eyeball this and just take a tiny, tiny bit straight down off the bottom. just to make it flat so it can stand up and just kind of gently pack that back in now mine's already starting to form a crust on them so you really want to leave these undisturbed for several hours at least three to four hours I will come back and check because if you pick them up too soon to go to scoop, they're going to fall apart on you. Uh, you don't want to wait so long till it's dried almost all the way through. So I will test them in a couple of hours and just kind of see. But we really probably want to let them set for about three to four hours. And it depends 
you know, if your air is real dry or if it's real humid and everything. So, I will start timing it now. It is 11.30 a.m. And I'll let you know when we come back to scoop them out. So, remember, you're going to have all this egg mixture, sugar mixture, once you get done scooping them out. So, keep what little bit you have left over. Uh, covered up real well. If not, it will dry up and everything. So we don't cover these. Put these in a place where they won't be disturbed and let them sit. And the same thing if you made a stand for them. Just, we won't be scooping the, uh, the stands. So those will dry up. Go ahead and dry overnight. So we'll be back. Just wanted to show you real quick my leftover sugar. Put it in a zip top bag and get all the air out of it. And while you're uh, forming your eggs, if it starts to dry out, add a couple of drops of water to your mixture. Alright, in between time, keep it covered with a uh, moist paper towel.